All right. A lot of people believe because they have beliefs and they have a belief system of beliefs. And they believe from whatever fake charts, fake Photoshop graphics in an era that could not have exposed any Photoshop because they didn't expose it to us for another 20, 50 years before they came out with something else that was cooler. I'm talking about things that are ahead of its time to dumb you down, to keep you far back from being ahead of anything. Has systematically taught you. Photoshopped pictures in an era that it couldn't exist in a Nazi era regime where photoshopped images ruled the day in newspapers. I'm telling you. A lot of people believe the things that they've been seeing and reading and learning. But I'm telling you that the plausibility is the most scariest thing of it. You might as well say fear is not to be feared, but the reason why I should believe should be feared more than fear itself. Because if it looks real and you think it's real (laughs) and you think it's true... (laughs) You might as well throw fear out the window because you could believe just about anything is true. <laughs> oh, shit. Even if it has a normalcy weighted in what we call reality, which is nothing but a lie. Reality is normalcy in a super high sensory cool world of amazing metaphysical shoulder to shoulder consciousness, ghosts, fucking demons, angels fucking goddamn monsters shapeshifters like what kind of place is this bro you're not living in reality truth is stranger than fiction you're not even living in reality the sun is come on all right now let's just think about some of the stuff that you guys believe and i'm gonna show you how they were kind of dumbing you down intentionally so your sense of reasonableness would be shortcoming it'd be a short fuse of reasonableness within your mind now let's think about how stupid this sounds if the sun is in outer space a void with no oxygen how does the sun burn endlessly if the sun could be seen in the sky the size of a silver dollar and the sun is burning in outer space where is the smoke <laughs> How can a fireball burn in a void of space with no oxygen endlessly? It's fire. Hello. It ain't fire, is it? No, it's not. It's not a fireball. See what I'm saying? None of that shit makes any sense. This doesn't even make any sense. (laughs) But look at your Facebook emoji icons. Okay? (laughs) Blowing kisses. Like the sun does. I mean, oh my gosh, man. It's too much. This place is this place is so fucking crazy. It's so fucking off the wall. It's so amazing. And like holy shit balls. Alright, so in a world where truth is stranger than fiction, the eyes are not made blind by staring in the sun because these would be windows. You need to bring the light into the windows to your soul. All right, this is the one that makes you feel like you got a unicorn horn. Because even though it sits on top of your body, it brings all of this out on top of your body. Like an exoskeleton suit. And your soul is controlling the body from the outside of the body. Which doesn't make any sense. But that's exactly how I felt when my unicorn horn came all the way out. And that motherfucker was like... Bleep. And I was like... Uh. I was made to love. Uh, I can do anything in here. Oh, anything could exist in here. Holy shit, what the fuck kind of place is this? (laughs) That's the first things I instantly acknowledge. It's like, I'm looking at trees that look like they're in a living gallery of frozen objects that are sitting in a living gallery with a blue structure up top that look like a fake Truman Show dome that if someone told me, that that's not even water outside of there, bro. That shit is just painted blue. 
If you told me that shit, I would have believed it. Because the shit looked like it was painted blue, bro. The shit looked like a fake ass scene with a bunch of characters in a sparkly, twinkly landscape for magical creatures? That's what this place looks like when you can see it in its fruit, true fruition. You see ghosts in this motherfucker. You see everything in here. Like uh, you get on a subway train and there's monsters on the subway train and there's ghosts on the subway train. And you're riding through and you guys are just like, mm-hmm, time to go to work. That's the world that they're living in. But you're living in a world where it's just a bunch of people on the train. And that's it. And you can't see the ghost that's, that died last week. That thought he needed to go to work. Like you don't see none of those people man. And that's the. Man. Alright so. Let's get on with it. The eyes are the windows to the soul. It doesn't matter what the fuck you believe. Alright. They're the windows to the soul. If you want to become smart. And I mean smart. Super smart. Beyond anything that anybody can believe. Beyond what people think that they know about stuff. When people get mad at you and they say, man, how do you know so much and you can't possibly? And that just makes my ego swell up. But ego is inescapable. Yeah, I get excited when people try to figure out how I know so much and I keep telling them to go to the sun. But they just keep ignoring it. And it will... uh, uh, No. (laughs) Just go become enlightened put the light in to become enlightened it's just that easy all right so the eyes are the windows to the soul if you want to beat this whole 5g thing if you want to be a supersonic man like queen told you that mr fahrenheit was gonna do to you make you a supersonic man or a woman huh if you want to See what I can see. See this earth for what it really is, which is just a flat circle. (laughs) It's a fucking flat circle. And I know it's flat. Okay. You can even astral project yourself up there to see it in real time so you can see what it is. You can astral project down below and see fucking reptilians, bro. You can astral project even to the center of the earth and see the people there. And it's fucking amazing. What I saw was awesome. What I seen down on the ground was nasty. What I seen happening in the lodges was nasty. What I'm telling you is that this place is fucking nasty. This place is fucked up. But they're smiling in your face because they don't want you to wake up this super intelligent unicorn version of yourself. Or the dumbed down layman who is actually smart enough to work the machines and operate a fictional corporation called the United States of America. And operate fucking motor vehicles and complex machinery and shit like your ass is super smart they know this so they don't want you to think about anything except for what comes in the indoctrinations and the teachings so you guys have belief systems that make you believe the most plausible is i've got a good beat on life shit that's got you walking around here hunky dory smiling from ear to ear but that is in in essence, the the uh, the weight of the tons of the uh, the deception measured in their studies that you are watching, it is measured in an unspeakable amount of overweight, gargantuan obesity of deception within the straight faceness of it, and completely plausible. So when you learn it, you're like, oh yeah, there were dinosaurs. Oh, yeah, that's just lava. Dude, if you ever look at real lava, it's not any real lava anywhere. Okay? All that lava that they see, that you see, is happening with uh, CGI, which I don't even make this shit up, man. Google fake lava CGI scenes. You're going to be pissed. And stop motion animation. All that thick stuff that you see, look at the elements around it, like uh, for instance, like grass, you'll see it moving at an alarming speed. Like, wow, this is like not even real lava. This is animation. Like California raisins. Like, you'll be amazed, man. The shit that they they got us so deceived in this motherfucker. We're so brainwashed and so dumb. Everything that we know is a lie, actually. I mean, 
Santa Claus is like a patsy. Within a patsy, within a patsy, within a patsy. Everything we know is a lie. They told you to go to the light of the world to be saved. So if you're waiting for some man and you're not going to the light of the world, you're not going to find out that you were lied to. To even know. <laughs> it's fucked up. I don't, even, I don't even believe that this shit should even be allowed to happen. That's just my opinion. But I can't see why I'm only having those opinions and not the truth of why it must happen. I can't see that because the being that creates these lights is not showing me why. Uh, I've often questioned why will the maker not destroy the devil? You know, yeah, this is your kid. You got your kid. Your kid's running around in here killing us all. Like, what the fuck? You know what I mean? But I'm only allowed to see what's happening. Why? So. She loves us. She really cares about us. She cares about him, too. She cares about everybody. And uh, and uh, they're taking kindness for weakness. I can tell you for sure that she's not the one you want to fuck around with. Like, you'll lose your fucking whole face behind some shit. You'll lose your ass. Like, you'll lose your whole existence. Fuck around with the creator. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like this being, I'm surprised that people are allowed to go running around in here acting like they acting right now. I'm really surprised because this being will rip your nuts off, bro. And she will hand them to you and be like, what else? And your motherfucking ass going to fold like a wallet. That's how fucking badass she is, man. But she's so nice. But she's such a fucking like she'll kick your ass, bro. That's why I don't fucking get it sometimes. Like, why is it these Satanists are even, sh they even have the guts to eat babies? Like, these motherfuckers, man. Like, damn. Like, you hate her, but damn, bro. Like, you're going to go down for this. And you know it. And you're still eating babies. <laughs> you nasty motherfuckers, bro. Like, that's some, like, man. All right, so enough with this venting and reflecting. Which could be quite entertaining to some of you. I'm just going to get into this again. The eyes are the windows to the soul. These are just windows. The light gets photosynthesized into this black. And goes into the black of you. And illuminates it. And the light and the illumination will come out. And you will have DNA activation. Because you are a crystal being at the, the core of your bones. Once the bones become completely illuminated, the light will shoot out of these little DNA activations that you have on yourself. And uh, you'll look like the Avatar characters. This DNA activation usually appears in bumps that pop up in a pattern. Right now, mine are running up my hands and my arms. And that's pretty much what's happening with me right now. Uh, this is also cracking open uh the calcification that's on it and around it when it cracks i hear the cracking out here whenever this part right here takes a hit i feel it up here this is a powerful gland now let's get more into this in a part three series